Supreme Court justices seem skeptical of both sides after hearing oral arguments over the Purdue Pharma bankruptcy settlement. One America's John King has more. The relatives of people who died from opioid drug overdoses gather outside the Supreme Court as they wait on the justices' decision regarding Purdue Pharma's bankruptcy deal. On Monday, people protested outside the nation's highest court as justices heard arguments regarding a nationwide settlement the company made with state and local governments, which would provide billions of dollars to combat the opioid epidemic, with the Sackler family contributing up to $6 billion and giving up ownership of the company. Additionally, the Connecticut-based company would come out from bankruptcy as a different entity, with its profits used for treatment and prevention. Justices will be ruling on whether the settlement will shield the Sacklers from civil lawsuits over the opioid crisis as they have yet to declare bankruptcy themselves. Protesters voiced their disdain over the company's bankruptcy deal, describing it as a, quote, sweetheart deal. Do you know how many families I know who had to declare bankruptcy because they put their loved ones through treatment? Hundreds of thousands of dollars lost their retirements, lost their homes, and ended up being bankrupt. They didn't get any sweetheart deals. They ended up with dead kids, right? They didn't get to negotiate the terms of their bankruptcy. Additionally, they voiced their confusion at the company being able to negotiate the terms of their bankruptcy, which they say will allow them to escape justice. That's why this is confusing to us, because we can't understand how could somebody actually negotiate the terms of their bankruptcy to not only be able to keep their billions, but also walk away from justice after they were responsible for creating the greatest epidemic that, the, that America has ever seen. Protesters pushed further, saying a ruling which does not overturn Purdue Pharma's bankruptcy proceedings could have devastating consequences for the country. If the Supreme Court does not overturn this bankruptcy proceeding, we are setting America up to have this happen over and over and over again. Any billionaire will be able to walk up, conspire to kill Americans, walk away with their billions, and never see justice. Meantime, a ruling is expected to be handed down next year in June. John King, One America News. For all our viewers asking where One America News is heading in the future, we would like to introduce you to OAN Live. OAN Live is the best way to stay up to date on all of the hard-hitting, straight-shooting, national and international headlines. And the best part is, OAN Live is only $4.99 per month. All the credible, honest, unbiased reporting One America News offers at a fraction of the cost of cable. Just go to OANN.com to easily sign up for OAN Live and stay informed.